is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. Hazleton City Council voted to hire six new police officers in the city. We have that story and more next. Hello everyone, I'm Ken Kerr. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for watching SSP TV News, available in HD on Service Electric Cablevision Channel 513. Planning a trip to Ocean City, Maryland this summer? We'll come with you. Just download the Samsung Productions app and take all your favorite shows with you. Now our headlines from SSP TV and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. Will the Hazleton Area School District change its program for students learning English? A proposed newcomer program would group those those students together for the school day. The students could remain together for months or longer before entering mainstreamed classes. Superintendent Dr. Craig Butler says that the students would learn English and math while getting an introduction to American schooling. Currently, students are mainstreamed right from the start with special sessions with teachers of English as a Second Language or ESL. More than 400 English learning students enrolled in the district this year. The board will discuss the financial impact of a newcomer program at tonight's budget meeting set for 6 p.m. A bill that would benefit after school programs has passed the U.S. House of Representatives and is now headed to the Senate. Congressman Lou Barletta added language to the bill that would help after school programs like the Schools and Homes in Education, also known as SHINE. This is video of the grand opening of a SHINE program at the Hazleton One Community Center. Congressman Barletta and State Senator John Udichek saw the success of SHINE in Schuylkill County and brought it to several sites in Luzerne County. Hazleton City Council voted last night to hire six new police officers. The new hires are Patrolman Nicholas Davey, Christopher Conardi, James Shaw, Michael George, Kenneth Crawford, and Zachary Molinaro. Grant money will fund two of the six positions for the next three years. The six will replace officers who have either retired or resigned from the department. You can read more about the new police officers in today's Standard Speaker or at standardspeaker.com. A wanted man is facing charges following two separate chases yesterday. 30-year-old Jeffrey Keller is facing charges from both Hazleton and Butler Township Police. The first chase began in Butler Township after police recognized him as a wanted man. The second chase occurred when Hazleton Police spotted his vehicle. It ended when Keeler's, Keeler crashed his car into a home on Allen Street in West Hazleton. The home sustained serious damage. The Laurel Mall is growing again. Another store is set to open and a special program is planned for the upcoming Memorial Day holiday. This is Rocco Aruzzo, the business development manager at the Laurel Mall, but did you know he's also the choir director at Most Precious Blood Church? That's my church. And you're taking the show on the road. The choir will be here at the Laurel Mall performing for Memorial Day celebration. Yes, we're going to do a Memorial Day program on Sunday the 28th, um, May 28th at 2 p.m. We'll uh, have the veterans here, obviously, to uh, participate in the program. Some special guests, and yes, we are bringing the Most Precious Blood MPB Choir out to uh, perform some patriotic music. So get out, observe that holiday. Trust me, they're good. I hear them almost every Sunday. And, and then, of course, uh, observe the holiday for what it's worth, and then you're going to have a sale. You know, enjoy yourself a little bit. There's going to be a Memorial Day sidewalk sale. Correct. Uh, Memorial Day sidewalk sale starting Friday the 19th, or the, uh, what date is that? I don't even know. I have it as the 26th. Okay, very good. We're going to do the 26th right through Monday the 29th, and that's our annual Memorial Day sidewalk sale with all the merchants. Everything will be out uh, what do we say, the sidewalk or in front of their store? So we call it the mall walk here at the Laurel Mall. So, yep, we'll have the sidewalk sale for the weekend. That'll be nice. Got a taste of all the stores here, see what they have for sale. And then another big deal, Treasure Hunt will be having their grand opening. Right. We mentioned that they had their soft opening. Now they're going to do their grand opening on uh, Friday the 26th. We'll do the ribbon cutting at 10 a.m. and they'll be officially open. And they're going to do some prizes and everything for their grand opening. So we're excited to have them here. And going back to the Memorial Day celebration, you said you've done Veterans Day celebrations here that have been successful, so it's nice to do something like this again. Yeah, we always do a memorial and then also then for a Veterans Day, so we're glad to do whatever we can to help the veterans out. So much more than shopping here at the Laurel Mall. Absolutely. There's just a lot to do at the Laurel Mall other than shop. Right. A lot going on for Memorial Day, so get out here, say hello to Rocco, the MPB Choir, check out the sales, and honor our veterans. Hey, I'm here now. Let's move on to our next story. Do you have low back pain? Chiropractic care could be the answer. Here's Janine Mazurkevich from Sacco Chiropractic in Hazleton. 
We're back here at Sacco Chiropractic and we're with the good doctor, Dr. Scott Sacco. And I see a new piece of equipment is here. Yes, that's right. We just we just got our new table in. We received it about two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So this table is used specifically for anybody who has any herniated discs or sciatica or who is in a car accident or some type of trauma to their low back a long time ago or many years of arthritis. So this table is actually used as a distraction table mm -hmm. or to put you in traction to open up the disc space in your low back. So anybody with any types of chronic injuries in their low back, low back pain, stuff that's been going on for years that they really haven't had relief from we usually put this on put them on this table and they say you know they've never felt anything like this before and it usually helps out a lot so you will adjust someone according to their ailments and some of the surgeries that they had so it's very important that you're filling out that paperwork correctly when you come here for the first time yes yes so we we need to know everything that's gone on in your past if you've had any any surgeries any major accidents anything that's ever gone on in your back your spine that's the reason why we have it on the paperwork to find out so I know specifically how to adjust you because everybody's a little bit different mm -hmm. everybody gets adjusted different this table could be used the same as any of our other tables mm -hmm. but it could also be as different from any of those tables as well now that you use a tense unit on me correct is that the video it was a stim unit okay. so it was an electric stim Yes. Okay, and what does that do? That actually calms down the muscle spasm. Mm -hmm. So the muscles are around your, your spine, so they're protecting everything and it's tight. So a lot of times when somebody comes in and they're in a lot of pain, the muscles will be tight. So we put the stim on everybody first. We put the stim in a hot pack to loosen everything up and then we get a better adjustment. Very good. Join us each and every week right here on SSP TV News. Thanks, Janine. After this break, the host of Wild Bout Hunting, a bow of some sort, and a backpack. Let's see what happens together. And in sports, the Pennsylvania Women's Open Golf Tournament returns after 22 years, and a local course is hosting the event. We'll talk with the organizer. This is SSP TV News, your place for 24 hours of your hometown news and information. This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. Hey folks, welcome to this week's segment of Wild Bout Hunting. This week I want to do a product review on a brand new pack that we're going to be using here at Wild Bout Hunting this year. And I think this is going to be a pack that you're going to want to look into. And it's really going to help, especially if you're an archer or even a, uh, someone who rifle hunts. It's called the Multi-Weapon Pack from Insights Hunting. And we're pretty excited about using these this year. What I like about this for us, for our purposes, is we have a lot of equipment that we've got to carry in and out of the woods. And sometimes we trek back pretty far, especially when we're hunting publicly out of state like we did this past year in Maryland so what this allows me to do is it's got four big clips you got one across the bottom all right you got one here one here and then there's one on top and what this does is allows this boat this case it's actually like a bow case here and it opens up and you can see we've got a mesh netting on the bottom the bow slides down in there it's got a small clip right up top here that'll secure the bow in place my bow won't go anywhere I flip this over and I just start buckling all my snaps. Boom, and the last one on top. Just like that. Now my bow is secure in my pack. I can throw this on my back. I don't have to have it. I'm hands free. I can carry anything else that I need to. The other thing is, it's got these really two cool um, elastic pouches on the sides. I've got, you can see here, it allows me to pack my quiver in one and my tripod in the other. I also can clip on the one here my range finder which I really really like. It's got a small pocket on top which I can put my release in. It's right there accessible for me. It's got a really big pocket and it's got a smaller pocket in the front with rib lining here for support and and if you got anything in there like camera equipment it's not going to get crushed if you're moving it around or in the back of your truck. It's got these two clips on the bottom that we can pack in uh, some extra clothing or maybe a sleeping bag if we're going to be doing an overnight thing. It's got some really cool elastic straps right here that you can clip stuff onto. Um, you got some loops right here with reinforced uh, metal that you can do a bungee to and attach up to the top here to strap anything else on if you wanted to do that. Um, the other part I like about it, 
It's got a pretty heavy duty handle right here. So you can grab that and hold it on like that. And then when you want to throw it in your back, it's got the raised ribs in the back here for ventilation. Throw that on your back just like I am right here. Got the waist strap. You got this chest strap. Everything's balanced evenly over my back, right across my lower back. I love this. We can't wait to use this. If you want to get more information on the Insights multi-weapon pack, email us here at wildbout, info at wildboughthunting.com, and we'll see you next week somewhere in the hunting woods. Dennis, always a pleasure. Remember, a new episode of Wild Bout Hunting premieres every Monday at 3.30 p.m. here on SSB TV. I need a break. Let's go to an intro. Time now for weather on SSP TV News. Just a beautiful day at the Valley Country Club as the Pennsylvania Women's Open Golf Tournament comes to town. Here's our local forecast from the National Weather Service. Tonight, 40% chance of some showers cloudy with a low of 53 degrees. Thursday, a lot of rain seems to be coming our way. 90% chance of showers, high near 60 degrees, east wind 10 to 16 miles per hour. New rainfall amounts between a quarter and half of an inch possible. At night, showers likely once again, 70% chance our low will be 50 three degrees. On Friday, 40% chance of showers, mostly cloudy, will have a high of 67. At night, mostly cloudy, low of 52. Saturday, mostly sunny, high in the lower 70s. At night, a 30% chance of showers, mostly cloudy, low in the mid 50s. Sunday, we have a 50% chance of showers, mostly cloudy, high of 72. Sunday night, 50% chance of showers, mostly cloudy, low of 55 degrees. Tonight's weather is brought to you by Valley High Food Drive-In, the area's oldest ice cream and fast food restaurant. We're open weekdays, 3.30 to 8 p.m. Stop by for our ice cream and yogurt, now featuring fat-free, no-sugar-added soft frozen yogurt with flavors like vanilla, strawberry, and strawberries and cream. We also have burgers, hot dogs, fries, and much more. That's Valley High, Route 93 in West Hazleton, and like us on Facebook. As we've been telling you, a major campaign is underway. The Hazleton YWCA strive to revive the Hazy Pool. In conjunction with the campaign, the Y invites you to join their fourth annual Nescapec to Athlon at the Nescapec State Park this Sunday at 8.30 a.m. Hello, I am Rob Poole. I am going to be your race director for the Nescapec to Athlon. It is the first race in the NEPA Multi-Sport Endurance Fest Race Series. I love our Nescapec course. It's a beautiful run, three-mile run. It takes you past two different lakes on a nice grassy maintained trail, a 15-foot wide trail in most spots. It's by no means an Xterra trail run, but it's a nice scenic run through the woods. And our bike course is 16 miles on Honey Hole Road. Honey Hole Road is in excellent shape. There is not a pothole on the entire course. We just held our cycle time trial there this past Sunday, and throughout the entire hour-long race, I think the count was one car. So it's a very safe road to hold an event on. Let me tell you a little bit more about the uh, multi-sport race series we have going on. In 2017, we now have five races. It's going to be our Nescapec Duathlon, the Wilkes-Barre Duathlon in June, the Anthracite Triathlon in July, the Strive Triathlon at the end of July, and middle of September, the Beware of Barracuda Triathlon. So that's five events. If you compete in three events, you're eligible for awards category. And our scoring system, if you are first place in an event, you're scoring 100 points, male and female. Second place, 99, third place, 98, and all the way on down. So your score is based on how you place as a male and female. And we are giving out, at the end of the season, overall awards for the series, top one, two, and three, male and female, as well as age group awards. So we hope you participate, try to get in three or more races. If you do more than three races, we take your score for your best scoring events. You can find information on registration for this race and all the others at hazyracing.com.
While early registration is over, you can still register this Saturday during packet pickup from 3 to 6 p.m. There will be no registrations on Sunday. For more information, go to hazyracing.com. Green screen time on SSP TV News. Your midday winning lottery numbers. Pick 2, 8, 1, the number of the great Tim Brown. Pick 3, 1, 7, 0. Pick 4, 0, 3, 3, 1. And pick 5, 1, 2, 7, 8, 2. We head out to the Valley Country Club after this break and get a little preview of the Pennsylvania Women's Open Golf Tournament. Time now for sports on SSP TV News. Programming note, our regularly scheduled program, Dave Day, with Standard Speaker Sports Editor Dave Seaman, will be seen tomorrow on SSP TV News. Right now, you will see my interview with Kate Scarpetta. She's the tournament director for the Pennsylvania Women's Open Golf Tournament being held at the Valley Country Club in Sugarloaf this weekend. She's also a professional golfer, so she'll be competing in the event. It's the first time the event is being held in 22 years, and it's attracted some big names from the LPGA Tour and the Symmetra Tour. That's the LPGA. PGA's developmental tour. Plus, the tournament will benefit the Geisinger Health System's Autism and Developmental Medicine Institute. Here's my interview from earlier today. You've been very busy. You said it's been late nights. It's been. I take that this is a labor of love, though. Um, are you loving it right now? I'm loving it right now because I'm seeing it all come together, and it happened very quickly. Um, this is the clubhouse has turned into a hornet's nest of excitement, and I love it. Uh, I just took my eyeglasses off for this interview because the contacts are just not doing it anymore. I've been up a little too late. Yeah. <laughs> so labor of love here, and um, a lot of people love this course, Valley Country Club. I haven't played it in a while, but um, talk about it a little bit. Talk about being here, and I hear you're you're from PA. I am, yeah. Okay. I'm from northeastern Pennsylvania. I grew up playing at Elkview and at Glenmora. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Where in northeast Pennsylvania are you from? Crystal Lake originally, and then we moved down to uh, Scranton. Scranton, okay, got yeah. you. Um, have you been out this week to play the Valley Country Club? I mean, have you had time to get around in? <laughs> I snuck out yesterday when my phone died. Okay. I figured that was a good, good time to leave. Um, it's in great shape. Valley's an awesome place. The girls are going to love it. It's a tilling house design. I feel home that you just don't get to play courses like this when you're playing professionally. You play a lot in Florida, California. It, it doesn't look like this, and the girls are going to be challenged by the greens, and they're going to be welcomed by the members here. How did you end up at Valley Country Club? Tony Salvaggio actually bought the course last year. Okay, so that was... He's from Hazleton. His dad was a barber in Hazleton, and he bought the golf course, and he, I don't know, he ran into me at either the right time or the wrong time because I asked <laughs> him for the purse and, uh, and said, let's, let's do this tournament. And this is a big time person. This is a big time tournament. There's some big names here from LPGA Tour and also Developmental Tour. Absolutely. This is a, a very, very strong field, um, as it should be. We're playing for a $100,000 purse, $20,000 first place prize. Where that stacks up um, on the Symmetra Tour, which is like the web.com, it's comparable. And actually, first place is bigger than about half of those mm -hmm. tournaments. Um, we have Michelle McGann is showing up for it. I think tuning up for ShopRite. So is Laura Diaz. I mean, they're legends. Lori Kane is in the Canadian Golf Hall of Fame. We've got Olivia Jordan-Higgins, who just won on Symmetra. We've got everybody's here. And what's really cool is right now there's a qualifier going on. That means anybody can come in. From around the world, we have girls competing in the qualifier, trying to get a place in the field. And that's cool, because that's unusual. You may hear of this open, that open. We're really open. We let everybody play. Where are you at in your career? You said you're also competing in the tournament. So are you on the professional level? I heard, too, you talk about money. I mean, you, you said you enjoy playing for, for money and that. I guess it's extra motivation when you love a sport and you can get rewarded in that way. Yep. But where are you in your career? That's an understatement. Growing okay. up, my dad said I was a money grubber. So <laughs> as an amateur, I, even as an amateur, I always like making bets with my dad on the course for matches. I'm a professional currently. I've been a professional for about four years. Okay. Played full, full season on the Symmetra Tour last year. Actually, it was almost a blessing that it didn't go as well as I had hoped because it allowed me to do this. So everything happens for a reason. This is where, yeah, this is where the universe and God wants me. I'm always amazed when athletes at a high level come in and there's a big tournament this weekend. And then on the side, you know, you meet with fans and then you guys are doing a lot for autism and helping out kids with autism locally. There's a bunch of events. So talk about balancing that. And is that a nice end of it where you can hang out with the kids and do a clinic or? Oh, 100%. I mean, professional golf is unique. We raise a lot of money for charity when it's done right. Our initiative with this was to be philanthropically, um, you know, forward. We want that. Sometimes with the first year, they'll kind of ignore that, get the purse. We we have a founder who said that's that's in the business plan. Our donations in the business plan. So I love that. That's what I believe. That's the ethos that I've always been brought up with professional, the professional sport that I chose to go into. 
So that's amazing. As far as what Guy Singer does, unbelievable. My first meeting with them, I learned so much about autism and what they're doing, both from a genetic research standpoint and also from quality care. Why not give back to the place where people from home get, get treatment when they need it? And Guy Singer, I think, does a great job. And I've enjoyed working with them and meeting uh, Dr. Ledbetter's plane in the Pro-Am. He's got a very convenient golf name too. I think he's I think he's milked it for a couple of tea times he shouldn't have had, but he's uh, he's very excited to be here, and it's it's been great. It's it's been absolutely awesome. Use what, whatever works with you. And the last thing I want to ask is if people are watching this and they say, hey, you know, I might want to stop down. Can they tickets available? I mean, I said the website's phenomenal. Can they still do this? Yeah. Thanks on the website. That yeah, was a, that was my first crack at it. Um, it's yeah, it's donation only. Suggested donation that goes directly to ADMI. And we just ask that you take the shuttle at Penn State Hazleton. Uh, we'll shuttle you down here. Yeah, first tee time's 8.30. Very nice. Yeah. If you've never been to a professional tournament, too, you have to check it out. And it's right in our backyard, so come out, see it. Enjoy everything that's happening here at the Valley Country Club and the Pennsylvania Women's Open. For full information on the event, go to pawomensopen.org and follow them on Twitter. They have a lot of updates there. On Friday, we'll talk with Emily Gimple, who's on the LPGA Symmetra Tour. She's from the Philadelphia area and is very happy about playing a tournament here in PA. Well, let's take a break and then I'll wrap things up after our social report. Good evening, everyone. Here's tonight's Talk of the Town. Penn State Hazleton will be offering Hazleton Area High School students a college-level course for credit. There will be an information session held at the Hazleton Area High School Library on Tuesday, May 30th at 6 p.m. This information session is free. Students and parents are welcome and encouraged to attend. Questions can be directed to Deborah Conway at 570-450-3136. The Frackville Area Hometown Heroes Program will have a dedication ceremony at 11 a.m. on Saturday, May 27th. The ceremony will take place on 21 South Lehigh Avenue in Frackville. All veterans, families, and friends are invited to attend. The Hazleton Public Transit will be closed on Memorial Day. There will be no bus services and the offices will be closed. PennDOT Driver's License and Photo Centers will also be closed for the holiday. They will be closed Saturday, May 27th and Monday, May 29th. They will reopen on Tuesday, May 30th. Customers can visit www.dmv.pa.gov. SSP TV News would like to send our sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. George L. Meyer, Buck Mountain. Funeral will be Saturday at 1 p.m. at the McHugh Will Check Funeral Home. Friends may call 6 to 8 on Friday at the funeral home. Bonnie Lynn Migliosi, formerly of Tamaqua. Memorial will be Saturday at 11 a.m. at the Zeilman Gula Funeral Home. Attention pay-per-view subscribers, if you see your name now on SSP TV News, you'll have 13 minutes to call in and win a free movie from Service Electric Cablevision. Tonight's winner is Robert Chubb of Ashland. Call now at 570-455-7267, extension 104, to claim your free movie. Big thank you to our boss, Janine Mazurkevich, for making a coffee run this afternoon. Without that, I wouldn't be here right now. There'd be no newscast, so thank you very much. We'll be back again tomorrow. Have more fun. Check us out on YouTube. Check out some of the stories you might have missed throughout the week. See you then. Take it easy, everyone. Watch us online anytime at ssptv.com and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.